Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. There is no sentiment on it. It's just a plain blank card. And I did made this using Daisy Garden. Stamp set borrowed off my sister. And I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. I've made one card with it already. So I thought I'd do another card before I return it. And I haven't got the stamp out. Also, for the dotage around the card, I use Quiet Meadow and I just use that dotage. I use that a lot. Cards, I've got a card base of three and three quarters by five and a half. No, a card top a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and then we'll put that I did it a bit smaller just to give us a little border all the way round is that the right one I don't think it was I put the wrong one away that's it So that's three and a, three quarters by five and a half. So we'll just stamp this in Mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow. Memento black ink. And all I'm going to do, no, I need that to put on top. I'm just going to ink it up all over make sure it's straight and then I'm going to place this making sure I've got the bottom stems showing because I want them to be on the whole card I don't want no gap in the middle and then just wipe it over I'm pressing in the middle because I've noticed that when I use the block the middle didn't seem to print properly there we are nice so just give this a wipe don't think my sister will want a stamp back not cleaned she always puts her name on her stamps knows the herd. Mind you I haven't got obviously got that one. Oh. I'm gonna lean on that while I'm colouring. Right then I do the leaves and the stems in granny apple green and old olive both oh granny apple green dark and old olive light so all the stems are old olive figure out where all the stems are. Got my 
my first um, card meet up on Saturday, 24th of July. Quite looking forward to that, seeing all the girls. As it was February last year was the last time we had a card glass. Some of the girls can't come to our first meet-up because they're either on holiday or got a party to go to. Or recovering from bereavement. As one of our ladies is. Right, and now we're going to colour the leaves. Now what I'm going to do is just go around and mark, right, that's an old olive, that's granny apple green, that's an old olive, granny apple green, no, old olive, granny apple green, old olive, granny apple green, old olive, old olive, old olive, old olive, and we'll look this one up. Now doing it that way hopefully stops me having two the same colour right next to each other and I think my old olive's going to run out. Want the leaves now marked. Sit on one here. Just a bit of stem there and
after that leaf. Right, do the rest of the leaves in. That don't work. I think it was Granny Apple Green Light I used. It was. Keep the colour going, I should do a couple more in the dark. It doesn't look odd. Right, that can be dark. Dark and right. Last one. All the different colour greens. Right, I've got Calypso Coral here. And this is just for... No, this ain't Calypso Coral. This is... Cajun Craze. Yeah, light Cajun craze. Cajun craze. Let's do the centre of all the flowers in this. Right now, the flowers. 
I've got Daffodil Delight Dark and Dark So Saffron. So what we're going to do is to half the flowers in So Saffron. And half in Daffodil Delight. Right, that I'll do with that in safe saffron and do the rest in Daffodil Delight. You see this is a bit darker. Lovely day here, quite warm. It's been warm the past couple of days. Which I like. Going off the edges here. Doing very well. Oh, I've got a leaf, part of a leaf. Last flower. There we are. Right, 
Next, we're going to do some splattering with Calypso Coral. We're going to stamp off first. And we're just going to take it over the card so that if you have gone off, it doesn't make any difference. That's all I'm going to add there. And believe it or not, all we need to do is add that to our card base. And that's our card finish. I mean, you could add a sentiment of just because or for you if you really want to and can't live without sentiment. But to me, that's just for writing a note to somebody. You could just write a cardlet, as we used to call them. Started making mini cards when I write to my card pals. In with their cards. So don't write in their cards. Same as they don't write in theirs to me. Right, that is my card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up and um subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more uh, videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.